نوش جان کن ماهی اعضای تنم Consume me fish, all my body parts. Poetry links Hazara, considered the most persecuted ethnic minority in Afghanistan, to their culture, their history, to country, and to each other. In former times, revered verses of quatrains were shared from one generation to the next. However, Hazaras of today are more than likely to text poems, as did Aziz Fayyaz when he wrote one responding to the many Hazara who had lost their lives, desperate to seek asylum on boats that had sunk in the world's oceans. By the time the poem arrived, I'd spent near on a year with a team of young Hazara in Melbourne and Kabul, collaborating on a series of media art projects for Homelands V2. We called ourselves Bamiyara. Bamiyara emerged from the Homelands Initiative, a unique partnership between the Cultural Development Network, the City of Melbourne's Art and Participation Program, and researchers from Swinburne and La Trobe Universities. I became involved when I was working with Foundation House and La Trobe on a really interesting study following um, newly arrived uh, young people from refugee backgrounds. And uh, one afternoon, John Smithies popped into my office when I was at um, Foundation House and he said he was really interested in some of the work we were doing on how kids are connected, um, you know, with their family and friends back from where they uh, departed, but also all around the world. And he said um, he was really interested in a cultural development uh, study that could actually see whether or not participatory art and cultural development could help newly arrived kids keep connected and whether that would help them settle better in Australia. If communication with home is important, if resettlement is not working for some people, is there a connection between that? And given that we've now got stronger internet networks, much richer media and the expanding nature of um, digital video, uh, social media, could we examine the importance of that kind of communication in resettlement? The start of the project was a conversation um, around being motivated to make, um, I think, positive change, to make visible um, voices that were yet visible and to hopefully, um, using the arts as a tool, we were interested as a city about supporting um, a number of different communities to make them themselves more visible. In collaboration with YouthWorks Media, we got straight into a series of storytelling and production workshops that saw us produce four microdocs or short format documentaries. That time in 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 Dandenong at the gallery there, when we had um, one showing of the mini docs, and then we had other refugees telling their stories through music and so on, it just became so obvious that um, creative media is a, a wonderful storytelling medium for people who, for one reason or another, come from elsewhere and resettled here. And, um, and they're interested in one another's stories. We completed the year with an additional series of artist-mentored workshops that saw us produce an installation comprised of photo essays and a multi-channel video projection and soundscape, all of which were held together by Aziz's poem. In our first sort of brainstorming session, the poem, the text, um, came up and so that was started to sort of be a main focus on how we could create a work visually that um, represented things that were, or that represented the words in the text. I think a pivot point for the group was when that poem was written on, on the whiteboard. I really felt an there was kind of a clarity that emerged from that morning that wasn't there before. So somehow a few words on a whiteboard seemed to focus people on what this was about. Bamiyara Not So Stills, the completed exhibition, was launched in August 2012 at Signal in the city of Melbourne. This work particularly was um, one of the outcomes on the signal screens was a public projection work and I feel with public artwork um, 
it's a chance to connect with a really wide um, audience, which is really important. The process itself, um, where image, images were printed as tiles that could be interchangeably used, um, worked really well. So there was a kind of an articulation that um, was became possible, which in a sense harmonized everything. Um, so individual stories became part of this meta-narrative which became the exhibition. So there was this interweaving of patterns and images and the images spoke to each other and um, uh, I just thought it was a fabulous outcome. I've actually been involved with the Homelands project from the start, sometime early 2007. However, it was in 2010 with Homelands V2 when it really got interesting for me. Since then, I've lived inside Bamiara and it continues to live in me. I've met a welcoming, warm-hearted community who, for all they have endured, carry no malice and show no sign of judgment. Through their friendship, I have visited cultural terrain I'd barely known, and we made great, moving, emphatic art together. One of the things that's become really clear through this project is that the young people are constantly navigating those different levels of engagement and identification, that it's about culture, it's about ethnicity, it's about family, it's about place, it's about um, particular networks, so that in some cases a group on Facebook can actually be just as important to how you identify yourself as the village in which you were born. The really interesting thing that's come out of this project is that some of the young people have said, you know, citizenship's important for belonging, it's also important for us to be able to leave. And that's been, um, come out of a number of our projects, that belonging is in a place, it's also about being able to leave and come back. And we're, we're seeing a generation of, of young people uh, who, are, who are world citizens. And I, I don't want to say that in a glib way, but their sense of belonging is connected not only here, and we really saw that with the Hazara and also with the Crin, but just as connected back to homelands. So this, this title of this project, Homelands, I think is really interesting because we can see it as my homeland where I came from. My homeland is here. And I was thinking too metaphorically, home lands. Where do we land at home? And we're landing in very many different spots around the world. And I, I think that's really important to think about these younger generations who, well, they need to belong and there needs to be citizenship and we need to be open up and be hospitable to that, that it's just as important for them to maintain that sense of belonging to other places in the world. What are you finding as uh, one of the sort of more interesting outcomes from this project? Um, I see the guys doing more jobs. Yeah. Yeah, um, I actually like this project because we can actually make the guys do a lot of work. Yeah, for me do, yeah, it does for me do. joy, yeah, by yeah, it does for me do, yeah, it does for me do. Cause I'm a great joy, I'll be your little self for me, don't you